Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. It is great to see you again. I'm fishing with the boatless angler who is not boatless today. Not today. Not today. We're out here on Lake Erie. We just put in out of Port, uh, Port Colborne and we're going to be running a T-turn rig for perch. We're going to be using live bait looking for perch. And this is a two T-turn rig which as of early in uh, 2016, you'll be able to buy these already rigged with the hooks and ready to go. And this particular one is called the panfish rig. So we're working it for perch, but it could be worked for any panfish, sunfish, perch, crappies, bullheads even. Uh, it's a great rig. We have a bucket full of uh, minnows here. We have a lot of minnows, nice and lively. And basically, I'm going to rig up a couple of minnows. As Antonio, you've already got yours in. <laughs> yep. As you know, Antonio always has to get his line in first. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to rig these minnows up. That one, it's a gorgeous day out here. And you know, the more time you can spend out on the water, whoops, before the, uh, before the ice moves in, why not do it? And the bonus is if we can get into some nice perch, that would be just fantastic. So the uh, sinker I have on today is actually an ounce and a half sinker. Uh, and we're fishing in 65 feet of water right now. So I want that heavy sinker to get me down real quick. Yours is heavy too, right? Uh, the same size. Same size, okay, yeah. ounce and a half. Because we're fishing so deep, you want to get that sinker down there really quick. And you want it to stay down uh, as vertical as possible so you have more control over your line. So there we go. We're both in on the bottom and we're drifting. I have two drift socks out because we want a nice slow drift, but we want to be able to cover some ground and hopefully find these fish, see where they're holding. And uh, perch are a great fish to eat, and we're hoping to get in the sun because it would be nice to have a nice uh, fish fry tonight. He got him up quick enough, eh, Antonio. There's a good start. A little small. I just missed one too. I wonder if I uh, he might have taken my bait. This guy inhaled it. <laughs> he wanted that minnow, did he? Oh, we need him a little bit bigger than that. That's not your typical Lake Erie perch. I think we might keep him. And look at that. He took my bottom hook, took my bottom bait. Small, but borderline. I would say you should release that. It's yeah, kind of he's, small. He's not going to make it. Oh, he's not going to make it? No. Well, if he's not going to make it, then you should keep him yeah. on this little ultralight. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Antonio says, What did you got? A bass biting on that? <laughs> my whole rod just went whack. Uh, it's a, it's got to be a perch, of course. It's I think not you a bass. Bite too. You got a bite? Well, yeah. we might be into him here on this little ultralight rod, though, folks. It feels. It's a great way to fish for these pan fish. I've got, uh, oh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> and, and he gave me such a big bite. Oh, although, although I'm missing my top minnow as well. Look at that. So I could have had a bigger one biting on the top. It's possible. Okay, I got a rebate. Look at that, two clean hooks. Okay, this time, <laughs> if this is a perch, it's the world's biggest perch. What do you think it is? I think I got a smallie. I must have a bass. I don't know. If it's a perch, I'll tell you right now, folks, it's a good one. I got a good hit, and he actually took a little bit of drag. <laughs> I have no idea. It's got to be a bass. Is it coming up? It's co No, he's not coming up, but I got to take my time, though, because I'm running six-pound test line with this T-turn bait rig, it's gotta be a bass. Although you never know, I might have two huge perch. You never know. That'd be good. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's fighting. You got one too? Mine's a perch. Oh, I know this thing's going down. Oh my. <laughs> what the heck do I got, Antonio? It's gotta oh, be a bass. It's gotta be a bass. You know what? It could be a uh, sheephead too. I don't know. Folks, we got to see what this fish is. <laughs> this is. Oh no. I lost mine. What do I have? The joys of fishing with bait. You never know what you're going to get. Okay, I'm starting to gain on him now, Antonio, although he peeled a lot of drag. I might need the net for this one with this six pound test line. You ready? Grab me the net. Oh, it's going back down. Oh, 
<laughs> getting the work on, on this line. All right, I'll get you in there. Get the net, Antonio. Six pound test, I can't, I can't do too much here. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, feeling more drag. What do we have here, folks? It's gonna be very interesting to see. I'm in 66 feet of water and oh, I got myself a chunk. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty big. There's a nice smallie right here. Let's see if I can get him out of the net. Oh, come on, open your mouth and I'll lip lock you. There we go. Look at that. Oh, I guess he didn't know I was using the panfish rig. And oh, there is going to be a bass rig and a walleye rig, but there we go. There's a bonus fish nice. fishing for perch. Getting a nice smallie. How do you like that? Okay, let's get him back in. You got a bite. You got a bite? I'm going to re-rig here. I got him. You got him? Okay, nice. They must be down there. So I want to get my line down there quick. Feels better. Feels better? Better than the one I just released? You got an ultralight <laughs> fish on the ultralight <laughs> rod. <laughs> so I should be using a heavier rod? Is that what you're saying? It equals heavier fish. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to prove that right now. Yeah? You think you got a good one? So we got a keeper or we're not gonna eat tonight if we don't get some keepers. It could be two. Oh yeah. I hope it's one. Well the beauty of the T turn rig is you can catch two at a time. It's very common actually to catch two at a time. I think I got ooh, it's a nice one. You got me, you got my line. That's yeah, what you, you got. You and you dropped. Oh, it. you got me, Antonio. That's a nice perch. You that's, dropped it on my line. What, <laughs> you just coughed up a smelt. A smelt? Yeah. No kidding. That's a nice perch. That's a dandy perch. That's what we want right there, folks. That's what we want. Some Lake Erie perch. That's nice. a nice perch. I think we got our first double, folks. I set the hook and then Antonio set the hook. And you know the beauty, the other good thing about using an ultralight line and a big heavy hook, a heavy sinker? <laughs> Every fish feels big. <laughs> Although this one, though, feels better than the last one I caught. Mine feels okay. Yours feels decent? Yeah. <laughs> like I said, they all feel big with this little outfit, but I got a keeper. Okay. Yeah, I got myself a keeper, and yours is borderline, but I'd say, it's yeah, also a keep. keeper. Yeah, but that's a nice fish right there. It looks like we are going to eat tonight, folks. We are going to have ourselves a nice little perch fry because we're getting into some fish. Lift that up. Now I'm going to bait up again, that one came on the bottom hook, and I want to say if you ever get a minnow net, look for the ones with these little styrofoams because they just float and they're very, very handy uh, as opposed to the ones that have just, uh, just the metal. The styrofoam handle ones are really the way to go. Okay, what yours get? You, yours came on the bottom one as well, eh? Yep. Okay, that minnow's going right on, right back in we go. They're not really schooled up, although we got those two close together, but it's been kind of spotty as we're drifting along here, and that's the beauty of drifting also. As you drift, you cover more ground because these fish are not really schooled. They're a bit scattered. So we're covering a lot of ground with the drift and, uh, and getting some fish. So it's working out really well for us. You got my fish again. <laughs> Shouldn't miss them. I just, I just missed one. And Antonio says, oh, I got a bite. Doesn't feel big. Small one? That could be why I missed them, just a little fish. We're gonna have to work for our fish today. Actually. Oh, that's a good one. It's not bad. Yeah, that's yeah. a keeper. My bottom one's gone too, which means I might have two. You I might have two. You yeah. might have had two at a time. Oh, this, this time I do think I have a good one. It's not just the sinker. Good. <laughs> it felt like a good fish, gave me a good bite. I just put a fresh minnow on. And this T-turn is really doing its job. This hook T-turn hook rig, keeping that bait, allowing it to spin around freely, no twisting, no tangles. And like I said, these T-turn rigs will be available early in 2016. And this is the panfish rig, but there'll also be carp rigs and catfish rigs and saltwater T-turn hook rigs. There'll be all kinds of hook rigs. And he's a keeper. He is definitely a keeper. Not a huge fish, but he'll keep. Okay, I'll throw him in there for now. Let me grab myself another minnow. And I'll tell you, 
the technique we're doing too, folks. The technique we're doing is we're not just dragging the lines. The lines are actually in the water. They're, they're down there and we're drifting. But then every so often, what Antonio and I are doing is we're just lifting the, the rod tips up, lifting it up slowly, and then letting it slowly go back down again. And what it does is the, the perch think that the minnows are getting away and it triggers more hits. It's a very, very effective way to fish this deep water perch. And I think, what do you think, Antonio? I think we're gonna get ourselves a meal tonight. So far it's been good, I think we've got it. We, uh, we're weeding through our fish. We're gonna have ourselves a meal tonight for sure. It's a great day. I love being out here on the water. And if you get an opportunity, folks, perch fishing, it's not only uh, great, a lot of fun and relaxing, but it's also very rewarding because perch is an excellent, excellent eating fish. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. All of a sudden, I feel warmer. <laughs> okay, there's a nice chunky fish right there. Okay.